the TSIs are probably the best hybrids that Titleist has made. I think, I think you'll see the performance benefits. All right guys, so today is a very exciting day because today we're gonna be checking out the new Titleist TSI 1, TSI 2, and TSI 3 hybrids, and where better to do it than right here at the Titleist Regional Fitting Center in Sleepy Hollow. We're gonna be working with top 100 instructor, and master club fitter, Kevin Sprecher. He's gonna get us dialed in. And here's one more bit of exciting news. We're gonna give away two, that's right, two of these brand new hybrids to two lucky subscribers. So you gotta be in it to win it. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button. Subscribe because we'll be picking our winners in just a few weeks. Now, let's get over there and check out the new hybrids. All right, Kevin, good to see you again. Nice to see you, Frank, how's everything? Everything's great. It's gonna good. be even better in a few minutes with these new oh, yeah. TSI. So we're gonna check out the one, the two, and the three today. One, the two, and the three. We're gonna fire them up, talk about the differences, the launch conditions, the playability, see what we need, and maybe even some of the followers can predict what, they're, what you guys are gonna end up in. Yeah. We'll see. And just to let you guys know as a baseline, we are currently playing the H1 and H2 hybrids from our original fitting with you now going back two years ago. Yeah, that's right. The TSIs are probably the best hybrids that Titleist has made. I like and, hearing and, that. And I think, I think you'll see the performance benefits. I like hearing that. All right, so what's the first step? Uh, warm up a little bit and then yeah, we'll get gonna, some baselines? We're, we're gonna get Mike to warm up and then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some baseline numbers with, with, with his current clubs. I actually wanna get how to see how far his longest iron goes because that's when we do hybrid fittings, we gap off of what the longest iron goes and then, and then we can kind of fit it in from there. Interesting, because we always think gapping when we think wedges, yeah. but Hybrids too. Hybrids, you want to gap hybrids, yeah. Whenever we do fittings, it's it's wedges, you do irons and hybrids, and then you do woods. That's the way I like to do it. Got it, okay. Good methodology. Today we're gonna to dial in those hybrids. You ready? I'm ready, let's go. I'm excited. All right, Mike, so as you're warming up here, tell me what you're currently gaming. Currently playing this H2, 21 degree. Kevin's gonna steal it from me. Set it A2. Set it A2. See, I don't know these things. That's what he's for. So, I don't know, I don't really use this club that much. I always say this in the vlogs. It's like my usage, my percentage is like 6% or less. So hoping that I can get more use out of the hybrid with the new one. All right, Kevin, what are we looking for with this baseline right now? Just getting them warmed up so, or is there something specific? So, well, I'm just kind of watching them swing. I'm watching the flight. I, I'm interested in, like, Mike, what what is this club primarily used for you? I, I, is it a is it a tee club for you? Is it an approach shot? A long par three, you know, like one of those two twenty fives, or if it's you know a good drive on a par five, and I have the chance to get home with in that two twenty two thirty range. And yep. do you find the gapping between that and your longest irons appropriate? That I have no idea. Okay, so we're gonna figure that out because if it's not going, if it's going too far or not far enough, we have to we have to know. So one thing you'll notice is they're going through the paces over there, and if you've watched any of our videos before, a big part of the beginning of the fitting, especially working with Kevin, is asking a lot of questions, usage, things like that. What are you looking for? That's where I think it's so important to understand, yes, we can all look and, and see what the characteristic differences are between the clubs, in this case, the, the one, the two, and the three, but that doesn't necessarily point one directly for a specific golfers. Really, there's a lot that comes down to it, and that's why you hear Kevin even asking, what do you intend to use the club for? What type of trajectory do you like? How do you approach you know, your shots into the green? So pay attention to that because I find I always learn something listening to Kevin's process as he asks the questions. So what I like to do with the hybrids is I like to figure out how far the seven iron carries and where it rolls out to. And then I like to have the hybrid land where the four iron ends up. So like, so like Mike right now, he's flying at 195 with his four iron, ending up about 210. Two, well, 214 in that last one. So I want the hybrid to land at about 210 to 214 and then roll out from there. So there's a landing gap. He lands it at 195 with his four iron. I'm gonna to try to land it at 210 with his hybrid. So you cover that gap there. We cover so that gap. Gotcha. The ball rolls out to, to, to 210 with his iron, which is where his hybrid's gonna land, and his hybrid will end up at 225. The overlap is the, the hybrid will land where the four iron ends up. Well, let me ask you a question, silly question. What if the hybrid ends up landing at 230 or 235 and you got that, that bigger gap now? Then we gotta to go to a less lofted hybrid. Got it. That's when we start changing got it. lofts. Okay. Yeah. So your fitting on this one was actually pretty good, Mike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, who did, I wonder who pitched you Who did this that? one? Who did that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that one's pretty good. Let's try the new heads mm -hmm. and see which one you like, but I want to use your shaft. Okay. So the only difference is going to be the head. And which one do you think we should start with? I'm going to start with the two. Okay. And then we'll try the, and we'll try the three. Throw the one out the window. 
Yeah, the one's gonna, one's for, the, 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 the TSI one is more for your slower swingers, players who need to really get it up in the air. Okay. All right, TSI two, same loft, same hosel setting, same everything, same shaft. We just changed out the head. I like the sound of it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That always happens that way. <laughs> it always happens, it seems to happen that way. Sold, Sold. always. Let's see, so it launched a little higher than yours, 11 degrees, same spin, same carry, same total. 230 total, 217 carry, same spin. That's where we want it to be. Launched a little higher, like yours launched at 10, this launched at 11. Okay. So that helps, the land angle was around 43. 43 land angle with a hybrid, you can actually hold the green. I know, I mean, this is, that was great. It was, it was great. The TSI-3 is a little bit more of a workable head than this, mm -hmm. so we can try it to see if you like to work it, but. But you wanna see more of these. I think, I think for you, trying trying to keep in the dispersion a little more forgiving and, and the getting the ball up in the air, I think that's gonna be the one. All right, you're like almost sold on the two, but you so so we like the two. I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it, but but we got to try them. Got to test the three. Got to test the three. So now now the three and its standard position is a 20 degree. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with it there just to see what happens, and then I may have to add some loft to match it to the TSI two, which was a 21. All right, so I'm going to test out the TSI three. It's a little difference in loft. It's a 20 degree, and nothing else with the settings. Still the same. A two. Still A two. Got it. So this three gives you a few more options in adjustability of the weighting system. Yeah, so it's got, you can change the weight and then you can change the position of the weight. You have three different positions, toe center and heel. So we can kind of it, the dial in a little bit more depending upon where the player strikes it on the face or what shot they're trying to eliminate or encourage. So if you look at the, if the sole of the head, so the weighting system's different, but, but look at the length of the head. Yeah. So when the heads are deeper, they're able to pull the CG back a little bit. Mm -hmm. The farther the CG's back, you can hit it a little bit higher, makes it a little bit more forgiving. So that's, a, you know, when the CG is a little bit more forward, you can, you know, ball tends to fly a little bit lower and you can work it a little bit. Got it, okay. So obviously speaking in big generalities, but TSI 2 a little more forgiving, TSI 3 a little bit more workable. A little more workable. And then this is the TSI 1. Okay, so the 1 and the 2 have the same shaped head, but they put the weight in the back, so they move the CG even farther back. A little higher launch, a little more forgiving. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit lighter head. Yeah, gotcha, okay. So his first four shots with it at the at this A2 setting weren't very good. Nope. Came off, didn't like it, he was like, I'm done. Yeah. Set it to D3, added a little bit of loft. We got the launch, sounded a little bit better, hit it a little more centered. Yep, definitely did. So it was, it was interesting how we just changed the loft a little bit. Loft. So it's now it's back in the conversation. Now. Back in the conversation. It's okay. Coming back in a little it's bit. Coming it's back to the conversation. With a lot of that, then player preference when it comes to things like trajectory. Yeah. What you know? What do you like to feel? Granted, we had to get it to a certain position. He hit the other one well right away, and he hit it better more often. It's got a very specific use, so it, it needs to work when he wants to use it, not not on the th on the fourth try. So I want it to be a comfortable club for him to set up over. Hey guys, just want to take a quick second to interrupt and tell you again about that giveaway. I know a lot of you are watching the videos, a lot of you are not subscribed. Now's the time to do it because like I said, we are going to give two of these new Titleist TSI hybrids away and we'll be giving away a lot more clubs to random subscribers on the channel this year. That's our commitment. So hit the subscribe button. Good luck. <laughs> so we're getting the carry, we're, getting the carry. we're getting the total of everything that we want. We're just trying to dial in the dispersion and then we'll we'll go what we'll do is we'll go back to the TSI2 and see how it feels now a little bit after after hitting it. Got it. This one. I also want to highlight something there because a lot of you guys ask the question of like, how do I tell if I'm getting a good fitting? What should I look for in a good fitting? And if you notice, Mike hit that TSI 2 really well. We could have stopped there. He would have been happy. We could have walked out. But this is what we talk about. I like to see the, the thoroughness. And this is why we work with Kevin so much. We still not only tried the TSI 3, but if you notice, at first it didn't work, still working through the different settings and, and dialing it in so that we can have a real comparison versus that TSI 2 to see which one's gonna perform best for him. Yeah. Again, leaving no kind of stone unturned, that is what we talk about when you guys ask that question about what should I look for in a good fitting. I'm gonna put back the TSI 2 head now. Okay. 
Now that you've hit this, so you have a feel for that. Let's try the other head and see what feels better to you as a player and what the numbers are like, right? All right, I'm all dialed in. Brand new hybrid right here. TSI 2, Kevin, thank you so much. You're welcome. Now it's time to go with Frank. Frank's gonna start hitting some. You ready, man? Oh, I'm, I'm born ready. I'm born ready, let's go. So it's an interesting story too because I originally was so adamant the first time we came to Kevin, I'm like, I don't want a hybrid, I love my three iron, yada, 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 okay. Let's fast forward, Kevin was right and he knows it because now this is one of my most used, most versatile clubs. Ground, T, many uses for really? this for me. Yeah, it's great. The, the great thing about hybrids is they're more forgiving than irons, but they're shorter than fairways. Yeah. So they're a little bit, they're easier to hit than a fairway. And they're gonna, and they're easier to hit than iron. Yeah, so, so it's been a the best of both super worlds. versatile club for me. Yeah. So now this is, you know, a generation, almost two generations yes. ago. Right. So it will be interesting. But I, I, you know, we've talked about it before. I like to err on the side of more forgiveness. I tend to hit it a little bit over the face. So I will definitely give up a little workability in my preference for forgiveness. Right. I want to keep that ball in play. Perfect. Yeah. Like I did with, with Mike, we're gonna start with the same shaft. Okay. We're gonna try the new head just to see what, you know, so the only difference is the head. It's a pretty club. Yeah. Yeah, and, and there's so much familiarity in it now that we're gaming the TSI in the three wood and the driver. I like that. The familiarity is what leads to a little bit of confidence. Definitely came out lower, but I, I, like, I like the line. Yeah. Good shot. All right, so we've hit a couple shots. We've noticed the flight's much, much lower. Lower, 100%. But like significantly lower. Yes. So what I want to do is let's bring the loft back up. Even though it's lower, your spin's up a little bit. Are you hitting, do you feel like you're hitting it low on the face? It, that last one did feel a little bit low on the face. You're spinning it more on average, even though you're launching it lower. We never know where we're, what we're going to get with Frank. No, nope, never. I like to keep him guessing. Yeah. So we're going to go to D4 settings. So, that, so now this is a 21. It's a little bit more loft, like I said, tends to make it draw bias, which for you isn't terrible. Right, yep. I mean, I kind of like that. I like that. That has a good feel to it. Yeah. I feel like I'm definitely moved it up on the face. You can actually see it there. Yeah. I feel like I was hitting it low and I moved it up a bit. So now normally I would try some other shafts, but I like the launch conditions and I know the fitting. I love was that. Right. I know right. the fitting was right, and you use it in everything else. Right. So I think we're we're, we're good to go there. Yeah, but I have a lot of confidence with that shaft. Yeah. I'm dialing it in. Dialing it in. Go. TSI three. Okay. I'm going to set it to 19. It says it's a two hybrid, but I'm going to set it to 19 so it's the same. And we'll just see see what happens because with you, we never know. We never know. There's always the X factor with you. <laughs> I always like to start at neutral and then I'll change it depending upon where you tend to hit it or what kind of shot you like to dial in. Got it. Some players, when they, they get in to out, they hit a lot of shots in the heel. So because the gear effect it changes things, so if I move the, the, the weight more towards the heel, it offsets, it affects the gear effect less. So mm -hmm. the gear effect has less of an effect. So I, I can move the weight to fit the swing, or we can change the swing to fit the club. If I look at the numbers here, your spin's at 2300, really low. Yeah, heart, you know, and your it's land driver low. And your land angle's at 36. Like this is, this is now like a T-club only for you. Mm. It's not getting it's not getting high enough. It's coming in really flat. It's got low spin. Great for into the wind, which is what we're we have a little bit of wind today. Yeah. And it's a nice flat lie, like like nice flat trajectory, like you saw. Yeah. But you're not gonna hold the green with it. Right. And and I I would say 70% of my usage of hybrid is not from the T. Right. So even though it's going farther, mm -hmm. it's not the best club for you. The TSI 2 was 3,000 spin, a little bit shorter, but it came in a little bit better. So it, it goes a little lower, but with a little bit more spin and a little little better land angle. You hear so, that? So so the the furthest the club is not the best club for me. A lot of, go a lot of times, yeah. you know, you wouldn't think that right off the bat, but that's... Right. Sacrificing it's, the yeah, I mean, this isn't a driver. We're not trying to hit right. it as far as we can. We're looking, you're looking to hit this club a certain distance. Exactly. And you're looking for a specific use. You want it to come in, you want to be able to keep it on the green. If I gave you that club, you're gonna you're gonna like, wow, I can hit it really far, but you're gonna be chipping from the back of the green <laughs> all right. the time. Right. <laughs> you're right. And that it. was that gap in we were talking about. Once we get to that number, that's my three wood numbers. Yes. 
and that's what I'll the be hitting the three wood two twenty five and up. I'm I'm pulling the three wood. Right. All right. So as Frank gets dialed in here, obviously you heard about the giveaway, guys. We love doing giveaways, and we're gonna start doing a ton of them for subscribers only. So a lot of you just watch the video, but do us a favor, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna pick two lucky winners for this video, like we said, to win a TSI hybrid, and then we have some big, huge, massive giveaways coming your way soon. I like it. I like it. You like what? <laughs> I like it. I like this TSI 2. I just hit it. Again. So we went back to the TSI 2. Your spin rate went up to 3,500, mm -hmm. more appropriate. Your your land angle came went up to almost 40, and your distances stayed the same. So is the spin what's getting it up higher? So the spin actually kept it in the air longer, and the land angle is going to let it hold the green a little bit right. better. So even though the other one, Actually, this went as far as the TSI 3, but when you hit it more appropriately, the spin keeps it in the air, so then you can have the land angle, so then we kind of get the benefit of both. All right, Kevin challenged you guys to guess in the comments, so let's see who guessed it right. It was the TSI 2 for both of us with a little bit of adjustments to the hosel and some of the stuff with the, the lofting, but can't wait to game these, and don't forget, guys, like we said, make sure you subscribe so you can get a chance to win one, and if you want to work with Kevin, go to kevinsprecker.com. Calm. You can book a fitting or a lesson with Kevin. We've seen, if you've seen our video videos with him before, he truly is in so many ways one of the best in the business. So you can see it here, you can see why. But super excited. We're gonna have these in the bag in just a couple weeks now and we're gonna kick the season off right with the new Titleist TSI hybrids. Can't wait. Thanks, guys.